Welcome to the credit video for Let's Play Overlord. I'm Burning Dog Face. <laughs> I really enjoyed this game. I mean, I'm not done yet. I still have to go through the Raising Hell content. And the game wasn't at all what I expected. I'm really surprised they didn't, you know, just take away the option of being a nice guy. Hey! My, uh, oh yeah, writer Rihanna Pratchett. They brought her back for, uh... Overlord Fellowship of Evil, whatever the fuck it's called. What's his laws in to say? Go for it. Fair enough. Who the hell is Archie? No, I didn't recognize a single one of those voice actors. Fair enough. All things considered, I really had a good time with this. The just the central mechanic of guiding the cloud of minions around and dividing your forces and figuring out tactics. I mean, I don't think I did that very well, but it was really entertaining. I could see people who were way into this as figuring out things like, okay, I'm gonna dump all my green guys up here in the hill so they can jump down onto a guy while I put my red guys over here on the ledge to rain fire down from above. You can get surprisingly strategic with this. It's really, I, it's really unlike anything else I've ever played. I mean, more of the Avatar character would almost be like an RTS. It's weird that they actually stop the music in it instead of playing some for the credits. The, uh, the writing was pretty good, the voice acting leaves something to be desired, but it's charming that way, I think. I did think the, uh, the difficulty is kind of all over the place. Some places were a cakewalk, some places were a real ball ache. I didn't really get the, uh, get the sense. What, really? Is that short for something, or is it actually called, like, are they calling themselves F4G software to make it look like FAG software? And it can't be, right? And I guess it loops from there. Um... It was an unorthodox game, I really enjoyed it, and uh, yes, down the road I will absolutely be taking a look at Overlord 2. You know, why the hell not, right? I, uh... And yes, I do endorse this game. If, uh... If you're into action RPGs, if you're into, you know, this kind of thing, 
As long as you uh, are okay with or comfortable with the fact that the minion control is a central mechanic in this game. Uh... Oh, thank God, the fucking jester is gone. I mean, I know I saw him in that cutscene plotting against me. It's nice that not to have him interrupting me every two seconds. Huh, all the same height now. Yeah. I totally recommend that you check this game out, as long as it's, uh, as long as you're okay with the fact that, you know, that it's, uh, ten years old at this point. So it's, uh, not exactly flawless. The Steam version seems to run just fine. Uh, I bet there's achievements on the Xbox 360 version, and you can still get your hands on that. And I'm guessing the ending plays out differently, if you're, uh, more corrupt than I was. Just look how shiny my realm is. Well. I guess that'll about do it. For now, anyway. I'll try to think of something uh, smarter to say as a summary when I reach the end of uh, Raising Hell. It is very late at night now, and uh, I've got videos to compress, so I'm Burning Dog Face, and this has been the credit video for Let's Play Overlord. I'll see you next time, when we finally go back to Meadow Hills, and check out that burning abyss that's been luring my peasants away. Later!